All right, guys, welcome to a special edition of uh, Shopping in with a man, Deep Jack D. Namaste. And Bashir Halaik in the building. Yeah, yeah. Now come here. This is the diversity podcast. And what's up? What's up? This podcast. I'm Muslim, and an Muslim, Indian, and a lawyer. You guys, the other people here, we have. Uh, in every reality, the lawyer is our employee. We also have a um, uh, ca- uh, uh, cube with a cow name. Oh, Dota. Dota. And we have uh, a cube, a cube with, with uh, no, a cube with Chinese eyes. <laughs> yeah, Jorge. Making and some a Spanish some name in the background. But Karibu ni sana man and man, it's good to have you back, baby! It's good to be back, uh, baby! We're shooting you guys, man! <laughs> you seem to have received uh, some funding today, seems no, like. That's a lie. Well, you, guys, you know where I am Monday to Friday. But I don't have enough air to call you. Well, come see you, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's what I meant. You're always yeah. lying, don't you? know where I am. So you come say hello. I call you all the time on my fucking podcast. <laughs> this guy lingers me if it's... If it's after 763 yeah, This guy is not answering oh, well, That time my mama is shafting him Nah man Do you usually have You guys didn't normally close the other way I don't know, maybe you ask your mom Because I can't remember I think you should close your eyes You guys didn't normally close the other way Sometimes <laughs> but only about gun thing years ago. If it's that good. What? Yeah. So sometimes it's, you just have to envision. Oh, yeah. Emmanuel's worry is that you know in case I'm komongaing, a gangster enters. <laughs> Where are you komongaing, bro? Where yeah, that's the biggest fear. <laughs> yeah. Is people entering. No, but you know this guy lives in Rongai. <laughs> and uh-huh. you have such questions, okay? No. Okay, Rongai, all the gangsters live there before they go to commit. May I didn't say that. Yeah, May I was just listening. Classist. Check it the judge. Uh, so where in Rongai do you live? Maybe <laughs> Bashir <laughs> only closes his eyes for like two seconds. Yeah. Ah. Uh, got you Bashir, there, bro. You know I'm fasting, so I'm not allowed to lie. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> you won't say anything about that. Cannot yeah, deny. Cannot deny nor uh, confirm. <laughs> Yeah. But enough about Komongaring. How have you been, Mr. Aman? Welcome back. Thanks, man. I don't know what you mean, have been. You guys, uh, we meet every day. Bashir. Looking lean. Thank you. Thank you, George. For the Not you, sports. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought George would get leaner or thinner. I think this guy closes his eyes when out. eating a burger. Makes a sound. Literally, Manuel's question today. I just gave a good-hearted compliment, and all that came back was hate. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Think Manuel closes his eyes when he laughs. <laughs> hey man, I'm leading your you following. <laughs> I have. It's a bit rusty. <laughs> I mean, fair man. Fair, that's your guest, Emmanuel. <laughs> Is this your guest or not? This guy is again for chopping it up with a man team judge there. Oh, correspondent. yeah. Correspondent. <laughs> correspondent. Our international correspondent. Yeah. How did you guys solve the beef that George had with being part of the show or a guest on the show? I, you know, I was, I was so uh, live on that beef. one. I did have beef. Yeah? I did have beef. And I mean, like, you guys know it's serious when an Indian brings up the topic about beef, you know, it has become a problem. He's trying to instigate. But, uh, the problem is that's wild, you Bashir. You see, Bashir, you're uh, fasting. <laughs> and then the next time you're at home, you see chopping it up with Ed and Abdi, and you're like, "Whoa, what is what is happening with chopping it up with Aman?" So you I'm took asking the right question. You took ownership of something. Yeah, and then uh, before confirming uh, that you really owned it. But I mean, the and then you felt jelly when the uh, hot light skin one took your place. The, the funnier one. No, but this guy didn't take his place. You're being sarcastic now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emmanuel is very into the pod right now. After every joke, he has to look. Is it recording? Dude, I was like, what is are it you recording? The last five minutes. I can't, I can't have a conversation with Emmanuel. Cannot. There's a lot of time we, we went for like an hour and we thought we were recording the podcast and the, the phone was off. Yes, hey. you can reach that mic to your mouth. Yeah, true. <laughs> Bash, you you've been doing. No wonder I was replacing you in the fucking podcast. <laughs> oh, you know how to handle this. <laughs> uh, big block, medium block things. 
You get bash, man. We can't hear you properly. But oh. I'm also worried about my mic. I don't know if I can hear properly. Is it working? So where have you been, you guy, man? I've just been in Nairobi, man. Just yeah. doing comedy shows. Uh-huh. Yeah, getting. How does a man deep life? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, this... so you have a live stream which you do. Deep. Yeah, yeah, but it's not called a man deep What's live. Called? It's deep. called going deep, deep. Ah, with oh, Aman deep. Ah, okay. deep. It's going okay, man. Yeah. Most of the people watching this are definitely going to watch that at the same time because <laughs> I realize it's just the same eight it's people same that watch you watch oh, me. Oh, man, oh, there man, is yeah. nobody new. <laughs> There's a guy called Blaze. There's a guy called J O B. There's a guy called Flame Extra Hot. <laughs> Although big shout out to Flame Extra Hot, he's actually the first person to send me money twice. Ah, you guy. Sent is sent on Mpesa through on the YouTube live, and then when I was promoing my show Dogies, he sent on ka Instagram live manze. Oh. All the way from Scandinavia. I forgot which Scandinavian countries. Rupees. Country. I think it's in Poland. I don't know Sweden, Poland, one of those ones. Wow. Yeah, man. I'm not those sure. Countries are usually rich, right? Like those yeah, man. Countries. So is Congo, but are Congolese people rich? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Congolese yeah. is rich in minerals. It's not rich finance. What does Poland have? Coal? I don't know. How are they rich, bro? It has like uh, like a better system. Polish. I, I think they have money. Yeah. I think. Uh, Actually, why me? I'd move to. If I were to move to Europe, I'd move to uh, Prague. Prague is in Czech. Czech, the Czech Republic. Why? Why it's would you move there? The city looks good. It's, a, mm. it's not a big city. Mm-hmm. It's cheap. Like, For real? Uh, compared to Europe, like so you know, it's in Eastern Europe, so mm. it's a cheap city. So I'd uh, live the rest of my life there, you guys. As a black dude, eh? My family. Actually, yeah, that's a good question by Luta. <laughs> As a, a, are they good with the? Are they good with the? Uh, niggas in Prague. <laughs> <laughs> niggas in Prague. If I'm never going to name of my comedy club, the niggas in Prague. And then it's just one nigga. <laughs> it's just you, bro. <laughs> nigga in Prague. If you have to move to Europe, where would you move? Uh, difficult question. I haven't thought about it. I've yeah. never. I mean, let me ask you a question. I've never uh, thought about moving to no, Europe. No. Where, where do you think is a place you can move in where you'll be the only Indian? Hard to say, man. Because once I thought Iceland was that place. Because mm. in Iceland, if you want to become a citizen, you have to have an Icelandic name. Oh, okay. But then I googled Did people from. I-, I don't know. And then I googled some citizens of Iceland. There's Amandeep something something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! Chodu's already there, but. Yeah, damn. Yeah, but- but there's a thing where they say that Indians are everywhere. It's like potatoes are everywhere. And you guys are not like touring or anything. Like you guys are there. I mean, if there's an overflow of high quality skilled workers, I'm sure everybody would want mm. some, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Okay, shout out to the high quality skills scammers. Take that thing away from hey, my Nigerians. nose. <laughs> I don't know why I bring in Nigerians here. No, high quality disqualified them. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch, nigga! Bitch, No, fuck you! Have you ever seen those scammer videos again? Yeah, but I don't know why they don't sound anything like you. <laughs> isn't, isn't Emmanuel like one of our best impressionists? Yeah, what is this, bro? I haven't been coming to the open mic. He's a bit trust. <laughs> <laughs> his voice but is at least you know Motherfucker. <laughs> if you watched Emmanuel's show on Saturday this this guy I don't know if Russ sticks to him man it does not this, do, this guy doesn't need to come to open he only does paid shows by the way yeah oh. the only show Emmanuel does is one he's getting paid mm. no open mics no nothing. I don't know what wh- and it's working for him bro yeah it's funny think he, you know what he told me he told me uh, I I'm like Emmanuel. You have a show tomorrow. You don't want to do an op- just a set. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you no, know, I lose my my mojo. my mojo. Oh my gosh! I'm like it's it's his mentality. Yeah, it kind of works. But not here. everyone, not everyone oh, can get duh, it. bro. Emmanuel had such like one of those shows as a comedian you want to watch and learn how this mm. motherfucker like is doing the crowd work. Events, then it's it's the written material that tanks. Oh, yeah. 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 Is the problem. But it's the crowd work <laughs> that it's I would being say. a comedian, the actual discipline. No, that's no, a problem. No, no. But the, on stage, <laughs> it's the freeness. They so mm. he's so free on stage. And he the just confidence. goes with it, and it fucking works a hundred percent of the yeah. time. Please, please. Ah, uh, fuck off. Mm. Uh-huh. That is the no. secret of not How's doing. Jamie, Jamie. How's the help you mean? Then why is Nuta not yeah, being? You can come on, guys. You can come on, guys. Of course. Twenty twenty four, you guys. Take it, Nuta. Take it. 
Damn. Ah, come on, how guys. many oh. how many times is this guy nice gonna one. bring up Komonga here, bro? <laughs> you take a shot every time it, it does Komonga. Oh, Ooh. But you leave the convo. <laughs> <laughs> Hot potato. <laughs> yeah, but but why? What you were saying? I don't know. I'm running out of luck. What do you mean? No, you, you can't, can't maintain a Dude. certain level of performance. But now, when it comes to crowd work, being unprepared and being knee is part of what <laughs> makes you good. See, so the, more, uh, the more you don't I'm hanging on a thread. No, the more you don't go on stage, the better you become at the crowd. more unprofessional you are yeah. as a comedian. <laughs> <the> more, but <laughs> Manu, Actually, can I ask one question? No. Huh? It hasn't been recording. But I wanted to ask you, <laughs> honestly, like what a man was asking you, if you like the secret, if you could just be honest, like what's a thing you you kind of do? Like how do you get that f- free on stage? Because it looks like, dude, you just the same you are. Yeah, the same way you are here is the same way you are on stage. Because you, mm. ah, okay, so sorry to put you on the spot, Paula. Paula, you just uh, when you're doing crowd work, I think I've told you before, you just mm. jump in. You mm. don't know where the heck it's gonna go, but you just dive and see where this shit will take you. And 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 at what point do you know that you need to like uh, switch to another person or am I? No, you know. Okay. Ha- as in you just see the audience starting to dry. Mm, like the laughs will start yeah, subsiding yeah, yeah. and then you're so like... You just switch and start. Is there like a graceful way to accept that, you know, this line of questioning is not being on yourself? When I, was, uh, when I was in high school, there's another guy who told me, yeah? he told me the first thing that you that comes to your mind is normally the right thing. And that's you're gay. School, yeah? Sorry. Mm. Patrice O'Neill said that too. Yeah. Really? So if you go with the first thing that comes to your mind, it's most probably the first thing that came to someone's mind in the audience. Mm. Okay. okay, so then they'll... Like, I, I don't need to be crying, also they'll relate. Oh, okay. okay. So if you, if you go with that and you trust yourself that so much... So, low-hanging... When you start, you know, you start thinking, when you start doubting yourself. Oh, yeah, on stage yeah. especially, yeah. when you start... Yeah. Yeah. And then guys see you thinking and yeah, join and you in watching... The yeah. sinkage. Yeah. 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 That's a nice one. And yeah. I think he's also... Don't doubt yourself. Yeah. And I you think mean? he's also very comfortable with bombing. Mm. Like if you saw Emmanuel on those roast shows just before it picks up the first 30 minutes or 20 minutes that you were supposed to do stuff, no one is or one hour where the entire three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> three episodes. <laughs> that one you just see Emmanuel doing the shit, the same energy throughout mm. the bomb. It's yeah. that's the I think that's the personal. That's I the think. biggest part actually. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sorry. That sounded bad. Yeah. Uh, and also, there's always a DCI guy. There's, there's always a, a, a my conductor guy, my oh. accountant guy. He, he, I don't know for some reason. You're able to like, he, he like places a personality, yeah, mm-hmm. on, on like, people. Learn those things from Hamo, the professor. Uh huh. Yeah. Hamo used to do crowd work. Huh? Yeah, but well, mm, we should yeah, have him so on. Before the show, that guy wasn't with us guys watching other guys. Mm. In the audience, I mean, in the. In Oh, okay. Just the crack in the curtain, mm. observing the audience. So you see a guy in blue, see a guy no, in yellow. Oh, and just take like ten or not. And then he just gets on stage. He starts talking to that guy. You, you think that's the first time this guy has seen this guy? But he's been. Oh good. He's my gosh! Mm, observing what yeah. he's drinking. Yeah. You, you, I actually, I've actually seen you do that. You just come around, yeah. see who's drinking mm. what, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah. But you guys were together at Churchill, right? Yeah, were you? What was, was happening? Him, you guys, to follow him around. What was happening behind the 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 like the, uh, in the green room okay, or just like? Me once. Okay. <laughs> who, who behind the crack. <laughs> Homo. <laughs> That's an interesting go on. Eh? More like Professor Homo. <laughs> What was his catchphrase? <laughs> what was yeah, in my ca- book? No, in no, in my book, but something. Yeah. Yeah. That was his exit. That was his exit. Oh, but it's nice. also a catchphrase, right? Yeah. But you also have like an entrance, like hey everybody, like that is your thing. Hello everybody. Hello everybody, that's your thing. How's uh, everybody doing? Uh, I think Erdan has uh, me, has his own. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Do you think like it's important to have uh, like? Like an opening that you can always like. I I don't know honestly. To me, the reason I just say that is because the thing that comes out of my mouth. I no <laughs> that's, why, that's why you chose uh, Ngom Benimuema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's a dedication for me. I think that is funny. Yeah, I think, I think he bombed like the him. first. Yeah, he's like, no. The he last line. Doubled down. It's the last line. Yeah. Yeah. I have something to make. But sorry. That joke gives you the N-word pass. You can now say that. Nah, man. Oh, tell me to say I'll it. tell him to his face when he's not recorded. <laughs> <laughs> tell him in his ear, hard R, hard N. But you guys, I think you're one of the most consistent comics in Kenya. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Who gives a fuck? Anyway. No, we give a fuck. Uh, you guys, I don't think this guy is the most consistent comic on uh, in Kenya right now. Come on, you guys. Oh, you don't after lamba while you're fasting. After Tumbili, fair. After Tumbili. Fair, fair. That's fair, fair right? Yeah, but my car Zote, which is next to his... So, you guys, what drives you, man? I think... Uh, bro, bro. Toyota. <laughs> 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 you guys are really making this pod. <laughs> reducing it. No, but for real. You motherfucker just yeah, did after three hacky jokes. Questions after Komonga. So, when you, are, when you enter stage, are your eyes closed? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then for real, we are reducing the quality. Of but you guys, do you know you're the most consistent comic? Yeah, After man, Tumbili, I, yeah, I think Tumbili is way more yeah. consistent and hard. But I don't think he does comedy anymore. You guys, what do you mean? He doesn't. He no, makes people he does laugh. Vlogging. Oh, but there's comedy in that. Like just a different medium. Yeah. But they're always doing that. Yeah, I haven't watched his videos well. for a while. Better than us. He's featured 300k subs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What are you guys laughing at, you guys? That guy last day, so he's on 200,000, you guys. Mm. What? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Into? <laughs> oh. Three bill. <laughs> Four bill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, Tumbili is one of those hardworking YouTubers, you guys. Yeah, but I think you have to love what you're doing to be that. You love like, and hard work. Mm. I think sometimes it's or yeah. children because to me also has a few toys mm. for real yeah <coughs> i was just listening to one of joe rogan's uh, speaking of consistency by the way you guy you get a lot of complaints that you're not consistent at all mm, what's like happening despite podcast, unleashing one podcast minimum per week and uh, eight twitter spaces Maybe it's not the Twitter spaces that uh, everybody is talking about. It's yeah, the it's podcast. Thing. But I think uh, uh, someone told me consistency means if you're doing three podcasts a week, that means every week you're doing three podcasts. Mm-hmm. If you're doing one podcast a week, it means every week you're doing one. So you can do three, one, two, Zero. one, three. Like that's inconsistent. Mm-hmm. So they said I should just choose a number and stick with that number. Do you have a number in mind? One. <laughs> Resources we standing is when we'll have a number. That's why Jai is keeping us very well. Yeah. Okay, I and I Rasta. That's why Hail Selassie I was not conquered by the Italians. <laughs> Damn, we should be in Jamaica, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. But but although no, but but I I I hear those guys online. Uh, Mashira has been here, and you guys have been here. But they, things mm. have been. Yeah, so address them right so people have a bit more they context no. towards what the has been going on you guys we've been addressing them you guys every week <laughs> <laughs> we address them and then they go and complain at to a man <laughs> we're like bro can a flame t- extra t- back to us it's okay we can have a conversation you remember flame extra said once on our live he said to kitok up which is fine he said to kitok up at the live yeah a man Sindio, a man is consistent manu is consistently inconsistent <laughs> but I, I i feel like it's a good thing because that means people want to see you okay. more like yeah, i mean that's what i'm saying the, yeah. when the inconsistency part yeah so and maybe also, if you i don't know we have a timetable and just do yeah, it skip to it i think now andrew, we have a director i think andrew kiba told uh, moaf that this three episodes per day is not gonna work it is bullshit it's every day all day you have day. to post one Every, every day. day but do you have to post a clip or a podcast i think a podcast every Because Moab day. posts every day nowadays mm. i mean you can you can see the results yeah 109k subs like me i try to come on at least once a day <laughs> take a shot <laughs> If there's one thing that he's been consistent in is By the way, if there's one thing Emmanuel mm. is consistent in is to turn every check conversation. You guys, check, check you guys, check it. 
about Komonga. <coughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they go you normally find feel your butt cheeks moving while come on guy. What do you mean feel? <laughs> yeah, your whole body is in it, no? I haven't Take thought. It. You think that's gay though? I haven't thought about my butt. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Have you ever thought about it though? I don't think about my ass. Me think if you if you come on and you can feel your butt cheeks, your weight <laughs> is a problem. Shit. Like this guy, you guys do you feel your butt move? What do you mean? You guys like this guy. This guy, <laughs> like, you mean, like, this guy. This guy is no. booty. Like you can't call me out and then ask a question. Like no, like Basir here. So Basir, do you do what? <laughs> no. But I'm kidding. All I learned is that Emmanuel looks at your butt and thinks, "Guys, yeah, does it jiggle jiggle?" No, but this guy is when he's king of king of But do you think how much free time do you need to have to think about if other people yeah. let's move? You see that time if you can do uh, pod- podcasts <laughs> yeah you'll be consistent <laughs> if him, i think iman will be more consistent if he stops think thinking about the, komongaing yeah and to be fair he gets to talk about it no but for real we have to be serious are you are you deprived of komongaing are you de- are you sex deprived is that why you keep talking about it all the time i don't know man oh cuz he gets too much yeah. Yeah. He, it's just always on his yeah. mind it's not shit cut down so bro <laughs> no that's why i wanted this guy to lead the pod Uli za maswali. Yeah, okay, so my question is uh, <laughs> let's start. I don't know. There's no, no need to be No. Can I just ask a man one question? Okay. What, what you shot uh you shot uh, going so you took his last year, was it? October. Yeah, so what's the plan with that? I at the moment uh, there's some funding we're waiting for. And we there's a behind the, the scenes the vlog or mm. type of like how like a director's was. cuts I want to include in the whole video. Okay. But now we are just waiting for whether the funding comes or not because with the funding we are going to move to Nakuru, we're going to do it in Nakuru and then in Mombasa hopefully. And then I want to catch the I behind the Mombasa. scenes stuff and put it that as part of the, <laughs> of the video of the full video. But if not uh, the main idea was basically to record the video get the video and uh, you know do a couple of uh, pre- is it called a premiere not a premiere like a showcase mm-hmm. like at unseen mm-hmm. where we just show the whatever and then i come out you come out you come out brian comes out and maybe even shiko if she's there mm-hmm. and we do like a q and a after the video oh, okay. so there's an extra thing i mean you watch the whole movie but i think there's a bit of extra if you can talk to the people who created it and then after that uh, you know maybe put it on youtube or like hopefully sell it to somebody for a few years you know i don't know i have a question cuz i also want to shoot a special in uh, may yeah? mm-hmm. are, are they profitable am i you just break even it can be profitable but i would prefer if you break even at the moment cuz I think you should the reason it's if you're not recording then you can make a bit of money you can actually make good money but if you're recording and you want the right people the right sound the right equipment it, breaking even is very good oh okay it's it's perfect breaking even cuz the product you get is ip this is it pays for itself and and then later you can make way more than that so it's it's the video you're trying to capture Okay. And that's the that's the asset. So if you break even even for that, I think it's perfect because now you just have a video and you had a show and blah blah blah. But if you're not recording, you can make quite a bit of money. Okay. That's where most of the uh money goes to is the recording the part. All oh, right. But it's like part of your it's it's a special so it's like your CV, right? Your body of work. I mean, it's yeah, you know, as, yeah, as musicians have albums and shit. This yeah, is yeah. ours. This is, I guess, our album, right? And do you mm. think there's a space for because there are comedians who won even Grammys and shit, like for having like comedy albums? Do you think there's space for that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you just say they've won uh, Grammys, so. but like right now, you know, like the entire landscape of things is changing. With comedians posting more on YouTube than waiting for like a Netflix deal. So I don't, I don't think the Grammy. Personally, I don't think awards are what a comedian does their work for. You know, mm. it's it comes, it comes, it doesn't come, it doesn't come. I think that's that's a good mentality to have. It's not for the awards, but uh, I mean, I th- I feel we are we are at an advantage, especially with social media and YouTube and stuff. That if we are good, it's it's there's a bit more 
like as i say cream rises to the top right if you're good quality even though there are millions of other yeah. comedians posting their shit so but yours is market. yours is of high quality it rises up and people notice and before before you could be the best comedian in nairobi and no one would know across mm. the road sure. you know here now at least people in other countries kind of know you like people in rwanda you guys know me now this that's good good yeah, for you man this is not like also born you said he loves my work a lot of people love your work man i'm a fan <laughs> <laughs> but for real, i want to shoot in uh, in may god will oh. Where which location are you thinking? I'm thinking either Alliance. Alliance is a bit cheaper than uh uh Louis Leaky. And then Alliance is why actually I feel like I started doing stand up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was those uh, Dr. King Ori shows yeah, what they yeah. called uh Yeah. I forgot. But you hooked me up a couple of times yes, with those ones. The narrations. Like, yeah, narrations, yeah. 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 You come in between you do a set. Yes. I think that's so literally like it's my home, my found found apart from church you'll show it's the place where I actually found my voice. Yeah. I think I agree with you because that's also the reason I chose Alliance. Because uh, I remember when we used to perform the audience was in the dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you and you're getting the laughs, man. I, and those jokes were probably even worse because you know it was years ago. But if you get laughs on those ones, I'm like these are, these ones are kind of polished. How ones. much is Alliance? Around 47k for the whole day. <laughs> But it's the whole day. You can't yeah. sell you can't sell 47 I'm sure tickets because over here that's 5 tickets. Are you guys going to buy tickets? I'm not going to no, buy no, shit, bro. Me, I'm performing. You need to pay me, so motherfucker. No, you guys. Me, I'll be I'm opening gonna, at gonna that shit. Tickets, you don't pay me with the podcast. <laughs> 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 no but 47 is uh, I, i feel like it's a good start it's the whole day uh, cuz mm, and never do like different things cuz luliki is 98k <laughs> that means if you if you sell a ticket at around a k that's 98 people you need to sell mm. tickets you can't sell to 98 people no you can't but at least you can you can't sell to 47 the production aspect see, of it now is going to be yeah, yeah but now that you're talking about uh, first of all you've talked about how having a special is like a portfolio like it's a body of work and now that we live in an age where you know uh, like there's there's a level of content that needs to be out there for people to notice you and you are someone who's been posting a lot of material you've done like you've done a lot of these things so like manu do you think maybe in, in terms of outreach and for people now to know you before you do can you do like a crowd work special like just a crowd work thing like i mean it's crowd work you can't lose anything you can chop it up and post it like you're not losing actual material but people you're getting awareness from people like before the special before the special special i don't know man because i've already done a crowd work special in january did you record it no man okay <laughs> so it's as good as not done <laughs> yeah i think yeah. on youtube so yeah it's a, but the reason i'm doing this special is not even to sell it it's just mm-hmm. to cut it into clips mm-hmm. uh, so and, then I, and then i by blast it on the internet So so people will know me from those two clips hopefully mm. they'll see my body of work. So now hopefully the next one will be now a special where I can just post an hour and people already know I can I'm able okay. to perform. So this is like a, a giveaway. Yeah yeah it's 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 like a giveaway must. Then and then it's a bit been a long time coming. I said doing the uh, stand up in 2013. That's like <laughs> No, no. <laughs> you guy. <laughs> Chick, why why you got to say damn like that? <laughs> so yeah, that's 11 years, man. It's But it's, I it's like I, I think should, uh, I think when Kenyan comedians count how long they've been doing comedy for, I think there's a uh, You yeah you're 11 but it's not But I don't feel like I'm 11 11. Yeah, I feel like I'm more like five. five six cuz these are the stand up that we are doing now I said in 2017. Yeah so mm. the, I think so this, is, this is this is this is where it started cuz even if it's Churchill show I guess for me it's you get a show after 3 months. Now that's mm-hmm. not three months of comedy that's just oh, once nice. in three months. Did any of your uh, Churchill show material make it to the space? probably i g- no, no 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 not those jokes uh, uh no those I, i like i had those are so old jokes i don't even mm, okay. yeah i just wrote do you feel hacky when you watch them yeah i don't like them at all but i can see the vision i i can see what i was trying to do with this one but now that i have the tools and maybe much more understanding of what you know this art form we have tried to learn is uh, maybe now i can, can see and, uh, yeah i can see that okay if i do this one this way it's a good joke mm-hmm. so all of them i would say i had very good ideas maybe Premises. not good jokes okay. yeah 
I, I remember your first performance you got. Yeah, you're gay, man. You're gonna, are you thinking about my this butt? This rich and uh, does it move while you're Komonga? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if your mom's not holding it. I did. I didn't hear you, guy. No, it's okay. Take us. But you guy, does your butt move while Komonga on a serious note? No, yes, man. Why are you... This guy is the butt police, man. What is this? <laughs> Butts, the butt brigade is over here. I will let's check the viscosity of the ass shake. <laughs> you guys have ever recorded yourself while coming? I will just finish it. Just finish it. This guy. You know, Manu has an agenda with you. He's trying to get you drunk. Man. This is <laughs> so he can test if the butt moves. <laughs> Oh, that's the only I'll record myself while come on, guys. Why? <laughs> Never. See if my butt moves. Is that the only reason you want to see mm. the hot girl's face? No, no, no. Yeah. Check your guy, check. Isn't that the whole point of recording? Yes, to see the girl, girl not you? Does, does your butt move while come on, guys? It will move. Uh, yeah, 100%. If it moves 100%. when I'm walking, then it will definitely, then it definitely move. move. Okay, shout out. I love Luta's honest. <laughs> so maybe you should... Eye and eye, eye. Inna the eye. Does it move when you're walking? Does it... I, I think that's... There's a time it used to move because I'd really gotten some weight. How did you know? This guy in Mada was a very big butt. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy has a registry. <laughs> Whenever you lose, wait, ah, wait, 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 say, ah. please, please, eh? Oh. You're a sacko, the biggest son. A man's name is bigger than your chick's butt. Lost ten kgs. <laughs> maybe you should record yourself and then cut it into clips, and that's how people will know. You. Uh, maybe I can call my my special moving while Komonga. The Komongaization. I think just what Komonga. Should I, call especially? I told you it should be voices in my head. Because okay. 90% of your jokes are, are voices. God's mm. voice. Yeah. Every yeah. man so gets humbled. Uh, then the fat lady. <laughs> you know, then the guy who comes to the restaurant and... Mm. It, but then it, you guys are all voices in my head, bro. So you guys, watch out for voices in my head. For real? That's a dope ah, name, man. Yeah. It's done though, right? Are you guys going to open for me? But do you guys are too yeah, many. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. So, yeah, host. so this guy is a host. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy opens. Luta does a spot. Uh, George does a nini. <coughs> Shorani. <laughs> <laughs> George does an hour. Luta like 35 minutes. <laughs> then I do 10 minutes uh, of Komonga material. And then we go home. You get voices in my head. I hope we'll make more than 47,000. De- bro. But if we yeah. can make one, two, three, four, five, if we can make fifty two k, I think we are broken even. <laughs> You're not gonna put but in cost for it. recording. <laughs> no, I'm saying at least we'll be able to pay ourselves even. You know, don't, we, don't we worry about that. We'll call it movement in the dark. <laughs> but you guys, I think Stan Up is doing well lately, yeah? Because Ty is recording a special. You've done a special. I done yeah, Abdi done won an award. Done that for real? Yeah. Yes, he won Comedian of the Year. Last comedian of, year, of the Year in yeah. Somalis. Oh. Emma, you didn't see. Man, I'm the sorry, man. <laughs> man. You didn't feel. I should congratulate him, bro. Oh. You guys, that guy got enough votes from Somali. Yeah, man, good. Yeah, that's that's the whole point. Yeah, it's to true. find your audience that and, supports you everywhere. So I feel like uh, I was watching a day where uh, Femi One was asked the question about uh, female artists. Come like on. the way ever, every it's, it's getting there. Each one of them is sexualizing, <laughs> is sexualizing their 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 videos and to get views. And then she was like, "Me by the way, me me I approve of it. Like you gotta do what you gotta do to to get that money." So I'm like, even when it comes to yeah, true, true, true. whatever you're trying to do if, sa- if no, something, another niche, something right? will help you then oh, yeah, there's no yeah. there's no That's harm in using it yeah true but i think it's a bit different with aiden i mean he's somali so who else is going to relate to somali jokes and then than also somali the, people and right? then there are also some very many in fact both kenyan comics who are somali are called either oh. so i guess there's a big vacuum for uh, comedy especially the one they can relate to mm. So you'd, you, you'd really latch on to a guy who's a uh, Somali and a comic. I'm definitely, and he's also funny. I yeah, think yeah. we forgot to mention that part also. No, he's, uh, he's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I didn't say personality of the year 2023. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, Idan's problem is uh, guys doing low-hanging jokes. Hey man, you tell him. That's why one of the comedians, oh no, one of the personalities Which? is not on camera today. <laughs> Which which joke is low hanging? Yeah, low hanging. <laughs> George has a problem of low hanging. What do you have to say to him? Which which low hanging? 
E.G. No, about 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 moving his navel. See, you only love hanging. But me, I think any joke is good so long as me says that. Yeah, but there's also like quality, right? Oh, like, yeah. no. See, the quality is the funniness. How how much it makes you laugh. It's Have you ever watched? Low hanging huh? low Sorry. Stuff. It's funny low hanging. Low hanging. That's why me think low hanging is mm-hmm. mostly funny. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> there's, a, there's a difference between <laughs> low hanging and hacky like, like dumb you know it's not uh, like like it's not like at funny because it's clever and it's mean it's just but i think even as a comedian you know, it's just something silly it's it up to you right yeah. do you want to be the guy who just says the thing that anybody could say then what's the difference between you and somebody mm. like if you can somebody run at the same speed as usain bolt is usain bolt really that special when you but if you can write jokes that the other people cannot or people who are not comedians cannot they are a professional right when you're thinking of stand up eh? like who do you th- who, who can you describe the guy who laughs at a joke Like well, me, I think it's a guy who lives in Lanarsa. Okay, who? for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's uh, he's gone to a public school. His ass moves when he has sex. He commongers with his eyes open. <laughs> I think we've uh, narrowed it down. <laughs> so he goes to a public uh, primary school. Uh, he uh, he or she mm. uh, uh, went to campo. or college they said they transition after uh, yeah primary. so they have both the uh, like it's mixed you are rich but you also so middle class yeah you have a good job you earning 100k and above but you can still relate to like yes uh, so you can you can relate to a uh, ham or the professor joke but you can also relate to a kevin hart or a george carlin joke oh, okay. like that's how may i describe my target audience that's why i really used to love that's why i used to love uh, wildly coffee Mm. Let's feel like why Likofi is my audience. I struggle a little with the white majority audiences. Maybe I need to work my material to a level where I can get them to really laugh. Eh? But that's the guy may look. You you what do you imagine when you think of a guy who's listening to your stuff? I I I haven't thought that deeply about it. But I I think it's kind of similar to yours but more uh inclined towards the international comedy. Okay. okay then then the because a lot of people say i don't I, is, is there a comedy scene so they don't even know about hamo guys and mm. sleepy day they just know about us so to me that i think it's just about the same uh, but a bit more like usiu now instead of okay. yeah, public, so you know maybe someone who went to usiu yeah because now they you know people in th- those universities are not even i wasn't aware of churchill show and all that stuff until i got into the business <laughs> the business The, the loss making the loss uh, loss leading for now loss leading <clears throat> and i think yeah similar to us but uh, you know maybe live around kilimani and parklands are a bit i don't know is it, i don't i haven't thought of it but i know they're just very versed with international events okay. memes they get my Joe memes Biden sometimes mm. yeah how about you guy i think for me is someone who eldoret yeah basically <laughs> Yeah, someone who wasn't born in Nairobi and then For real, by the way, on a serious note. Yeah. I kind of feel like because like So my, you immigrated to Nairobi. Is like I'm a, I'm an outsider. Like you see how you talk about Langata. You guys speak it from a, a point of view that you guys have been raised there. Me I'm someone who's looking at the culture from like an outside an outside uh, perspective basically. And okay. also the perspective of uh, a Athlete. student You see we talk about low hanging and then George is the yeah, biggest yeah. hater for low hanging but who laughs the, the loudest? No, he's the biggest. Who covers his mouth like a Korean man <laughs> when he's laughing? Yeah. This this is fago. Yeah, bro. Uh-huh. No, no, that, that joke was It's funny. Check him bro. Low hanging. Just to George likes them low hanging man. Uh-huh. Even more interesting go there. Yeah. yeah but I I I feel like that but I I kind of felt a shift in my writing like after I I I finished campus because most of my jokes were about me coming from Eldoret and my struggles as a campus student but then I graduated I was like now like I I'm no longer I'm no longer that person anymore like I need to change so right now most of the material I talk about is being basically uh, a bad muslim and i'll say that you know like i'm not like i was born in house born <laughs> yeah, yeah but actually my Wait, special discuss we see if we can it can be produced by by us guys karura comedy 
No, it's gonna be. Uh, I have a name actually, just uh, for for the sake of uh, originality. It's gonna be called Halalish. Basically, a story of me <laughs> navigating, halal navigating this Halalish. life, being trying to become a good Muslim. You guys should do it before someone another Muslim. Know, Muslim does. But I've already said it here. Okay. So and it's and already time it stamped into history. You have to do it. Yeah. You can't just claim a joke. No, I'm, I'm doing. You have it. to do it on stage. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm I'm actually writing. That's why most of my jokes right now are about like. My religion and my relationship. Let's with go. But you get with jokes. Mm. Hmm? With jokes, right? Come on, in jokes with the eyes open and eyes closed. Halalish. Right no, see so you are you the guys open mics. You that story, news. You are halalish. And after we talked about that, we've done how many open mics that is not been there? <laughs> a couple, a couple, all of them. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> One gives you the right to talk I about. <laughs> <laughs> I will also say that I haven't I never thought about it really but I would say I sing as a right jokes for myself for someone like myself yeah, which is pretty much a similar demographic so you can relate to things uh higher up and things you know <laughs> I've, I've had words but I've not understood that no, so yes. me, uh, the thing about me is yeah. myself. Uh, you, know, you know, I write jokes. So jokes are jokes. And then jokes are jokes which are written. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I should try to do a political But what's thing. your, maybe I can ask, I can yeah, sure. you, like, lead, lead what's me. What's your style, your writing style? I, I look for therapeutic things or try to chambua my own experiences. Mm. I, I think that's that's what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is the best way for it? Yeah, pretty much, I'd say. Also, I, I feel like uh, you're someone Manduta who's is really, you know, very misunderstood. The, uh, the open mic, she's really Dude, grown new guy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. I'm going to tell you this. Some, you, some days are good. Even I'm like, wow, that was really nice. And some days and I'm like, oh my God. being single and uh, yeah. your views on being single and being Yeah, delicious. I want to go hard on that, by yeah. the way. So that I can encourage more yeah. people to be yeah. single. Yeah, so guys, please don't try and cut and do that. But guys, really cut here on the comments. There's someone who wrote in the comments that he, I'll regret uh, not cutting this. What's up with that? I don't know what the... What was up with that? What's 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 up Okay, that guy wrote, and put me boy way to Biggie. Yeah. So Biggie wrote that he, and Duta is very beautiful. Manuta regret one day. Kevin okay, was like, why, why? People should know, guys can just hang out. Chicks and dudes. Mm. And just do things that are close to their heart. There's not, there's like, Ata kuna kitu sexual in a fake way apo. And people just know, you know, life is like that. You get your own life to be like that, I mean, it's sexual thing. <laughs> Especially if the girl speaks like Nduta, it's very easy to have <laughs> a sexual relations, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so what you with here is uh, yeah, uh, writing me. philosophy. Yeah, I, I like what Nduta said about writing for like someone who's like herself. Like you guy, you hot. <laughs> Who isn't? <laughs> Your life is good. You guy, you starting live streams anytime soon. <laughs> Check it the other live stream after a month. <laughs> 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 Extreme. At least you call your live stream your live stream after. Going maybe when. Well. <laughs> 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 you had you had kids. See how we love that. Uh, nah, it's okay. Let me let him finish. Like he's even clapping. <laughs> he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no, that's true. fine. <laughs> you need Emmanuel in the audience yeah. when he's in this you mood. You need Emmanuels. Is <laughs> a couple of them. Emmanuel Lai. Yeah. You're married. You're top boy. Yeah. <laughs> no, have fun, bro. No, it's no, your point. It's the real you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sober now. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, we we're talking about uh, what inspired. Yeah, it, 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 no, it's like the audience. Nduta right? say, <laughs> like she writes jokes for someone who's like herself. I love when when I, you know when you're writing and Manu doesn't do this, but when you're writing, like you can you just. <laughs> Any joke that makes me laugh, yeah. I have all the confidence in that. Sometimes you just write stuff that you think is like will be funny for mm -hmm. the times and for the people, but then when it makes me laugh myself, then I you guys that's say what if I your do. chick laughs, you doubt the joke. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you have a chick when I did. Oh. I'm like, you found that funny, okay? Kobe, <laughs> that's that's been <laughs> yeah, you're not my audience, yeah. 
but yeah that's that's how i do it also but but to, to more profile of the the person I, or the audience i'd say more international and just people who appreciate i'd say more american comedy but also i love just meeting kenyans who just get a joke and they come up to you and tell you more into like not just a joke they tell you the joke mm -hmm. and like the structure and then you have a conversation about comedy and you're like i love that so that's my audience yeah. me the the kind of conversations you have after kes organics i think i was doing a joke recently that about Cat catholics or something and it had a reaction in the audience and i it was yeah easter it was the first day of e nearing easter this is the last one bro do you remember yeah juicy and then i left and then there was like a whole debate among the crowd whether amon could say that or not say that uh, is right who you did that joke from bar so it's true right there were people like he can't say it he's a comedian and they get nah, so it's lent or something i don't know yeah. you guys there's a day some chick was very upset about your mboro joke eh? yeah she can suck she my the second muindi really annoyed her but the first muindi was okay <laughs> is that the first muindi the no. vafa 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 is not even muindi yeah she said she works with gay guys in kibera you guy okay so your mboro joke yako inaweza affect sana is is are am i aren't i actually showing the plight of the homosexuals in kibera with that joke if you really think about it i'm actually pro gay with the joke but people just hear gay and they think oh it's just negative i think that when they hear the word gay they just yeah man now if you don't listen and you and you didn't go to usa you use it my problem. okay did you celebrate uh, trans day of visibility which was on easter sunday the day jesus rose up on the from the it was on the same day that's not that's not in our culture bro i don't know it's an american thing i in don't get have holidays like, like, yeah, can you imagine under, that like, guy 15 yeah? minutes just yes. to get all the earth yeah, out but did you hear that story of trans day of visibility Let me talk about it. No, it was Easter Sunday. Because Easter is a, is a rotating holiday. No, bana. Is like what the same day. You guys can imagine the holiest day of uh, Punjabi. Sikh is And then I just change it something else. No, you should. The, okay, saying the what holiest the day of Punjabi about? is like saying the holiest day uh -huh. for Nairobi. So, look, uh this Easter Sunday was the day Easter Sunday is the day when Jesus rises from the dead, which Apparently is the victory so. of the Christian. Apparently, so okay. Okay. So yeah allegedly whatever mm. but that's what the Christians believe right So now this guy okay yes it's normally on 31st but he announces that 31st is the trans day of gender Who disability. announces Biden you guy Okay So he, then the next day, an quick, American the holiday next day he quickly starts posting about we are together with the Christians we Jesus rose today You see you forget yeah. he's yeah. a politician everyone, bro he may needs to make yeah, everybody yeah, happy Yeah there are there from the trances You never know no, up and they can Democrats, vote the whole of California no. is Yeah in effects on an AO trans day You know what anytime. don't vote for him Let me vote here we even vote Trump, here by the way Sim vote here But a shout out to Trump you guys Shout out to Trump No shout out to Trump Well, they again you guys. Trump is awesome, man. They will. Internationally But Trump was are, dope. Uh, Internationally Trump was good for us, man. And then Trump has said he's going to deport was, all those immigrants I one was, by one, you guys. You know when Trump was president, I was happy. Had jobs. Was that? Then you had a 20? chick. I had a chick. Chicks. No. Fuck had, chick. had will to live. But they uh, even was uh, rock bottom. You're not doing lives. Yeah, man. But the sex workers no. are really making a lot of cash during Trump days. Oh, how do you know? I read the stats. <laughs> This guy he what was a customer in the numbers. At what? Were the one collecting the numbers. Uh, yeah, it's a side job. Mm -hmm. How do you think I maintain this pod? How do you think I painted here you guys? By not paying <laughs> by not paying the directors. Really? <laughs> 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 no, but for you, do you think Trump will take the thing uh, around 100%. He just I don't know. He's going to take it. I have no idea. Unless they have another candidate who's not Biden. But maybe the chances know. are many so they'll overcome the votes for the yeah. other guys. Yeah. Cuz Biden is I don't know. He's But whack, bro. Man, I don't remember what interesting yeah, is to do. I don't think he's whack. He's just old, you guys. Yeah, yeah so he's whack. He goes and rests. Yeah, man. But leave this. They need him there, the other guys. And if Which Joe guys? Rogan doesn't yeah. like him, me I don't like him. Yeah. Also. I think Joe Rogan is like the conos <laughs> of opinion in Shout this one. Shout out to Joe Rogan, you guys. Do you think Joe Rogan, Rogan has, has has the trans day of visibility? I'm pretty sure we we can ask him. Yeah. <laughs> But how many are there that they need a the trans day? How many chances? How many? I think there are how eight. How many? I can't say how many, but there are many. Jamie, Jamie, pull it up. Yes, it's a special number. Wait, Jamie, 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 Jamie,
trans people in the world. Look, <laughs> there's no problem with the trans, but the day of uh, Jesus rising. So what channel do you see? Let me ask you. Was it it's your like birthday? It's like that day. Was it, day? It, was it your birthday? So you know Ramadan is next week on 10th, right? Eid. Eid. Eh? So why would I announce that that day is the trans day of its being? But the good thing is... Ramad Eid is uh, be not determined by the moon. No, but see, the Muslims would be up in arms, right? If they say that we're going to observe the moon, and when it comes out, it's going to be the day of trans people, then I'm going to be like, hey, hold on, that's our thing. Yeah, but it's so okay. We only hear what we say. There's so many holidays that fall on the same day, Sawa. So you don't have to. Yeah, Kelly maybe was born on the same day as. Arkeli, but back in the holiday. Are you googling the trans day? Hey, hey, watch out! Oh no. Yeah, th- that's what happens when you talk bad things about the trans community. Yeah. They come after you. <laughs> they control the whole yeah, the let me tell you, Those people run the world. Can I just say it? Yeah. Uh, it says here transgender people are more common than you might think. Mm-hmm. Being transgender is not a trend and it's not new. Trans people have existed throughout history and will continue to be an important part of our society. But how many are there? 48 million. It says in 48 the- million. In, in the U.S., 1.4 percent of the yeah, U.S. population is trans. 1.4 percent. Uh, the Christians how many in the U.S.? No, good Christians. It's a, it's a Christian country. It doesn't. It, no, it doesn't make it. Why are you being trans against? Yeah, it doesn't make. Trans day of the Philips. Nah. You guys, it's a Sunday, you guy. You know you're talking without a mic, so it's a Sunday, you guy. Sorry, it's a Sunday. It's a, it's a, a, yeah. a, a Some people are atheists. How how many atheists yeah. and Muslims? No, I'm just talking about the Easter Sunday. I'm saying yeah. yes, so but to have problem. the... Because Why is it on Easter Sunday? No, see, for it you, can you be another, celebrate what yeah. you're Yeah, what's day. the difference? Yeah. Yeah. I know the president of America, you guys. Yeah. So, so, not for long. He announced it, he said, so, this Sunday we are celebrating Trans Day, right? Yeah. 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 But that's Easter freaking Sunday, you guys. So, so most of crazy. us guys who are Christians really choke up with so that. So maybe... Me and, you know, uh, Nani, Pat, uh, uh, value time. Uh, Pat, uh, Check the mic. Pat David. You know that guy? You know the value Peter. You guys are a podcaster. Patrick B. David. Yes. <laughs> but me and Patrick B. David to really release my video to catch up on the story. What was he saying? You're yeah, saying that that is a spitting in the face of Christians, you guys. Ah, uh, Christians, they can go. The one that's not belong to you? Ja. Ja, Rastafari. Aye. Aye. And I. First of all, the Ethiopian calendar is like 3,000 years behind. So why don't you talk about that? That other people, a whole country is living oh, in a different timeline. Yeah, um, man. The Catholic yeah, people. But what is that a problem? But what are you talking? About? Okay, uh, if no, it's no, about no, Christians, no, if you're so if you're so offended about no, trans day of visibility. about Christians, why why have you never spoken about about the the number of pedophiles in the in the Vatican? Are in those like the most uh, visible Christians ever? They should be arrested, you guys. So why are you not passionate? No, I am. I tell you what they should it. do with those guys. But trans they should nab them, eh? Uh-huh. They cut their balls, you guys. That's, uh, is, you think that's enough? Okay, they kumonga them <laughs> after cutting their balls. <laughs> okay. No. But now you'll what defile you yourself so, after kumonga. So, 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 but we need a day on that, right? We need a... Maybe uh, after Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Not the but day of Komonga and Pedos. Wouldn't the, I mean, Thank if, you the logo. if you're gonna if you're gonna cut the bolingos off, isn't that the <laughs> best day for transgender awareness? No, <laughs> because no, 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 you're no, trying no, to. No. Ch- okay, but uh, to be it's to be like, fair to the transes, thirty first is transes. <laughs> transes. Yeah. Thirty first is the day they normally celebrate. Transhuman sounds funny. I don't think it's transhuman. <laughs> That's to be fair, all oh, people, right? The trans to be fair. Human is my special. When you start you being get, another species, you get, you're a cat and you a human. My drink, you guys. I think you come on right so on the floor. Fair, to be fair to the trans <laughs> niggers, <laughs> just <laughs> okay. Trans peeps. Thirty uh, first was the day when they normally had that day. So it just happened to be on Easter Sunday this so, time. So you're agreeing with what everybody said. I'm not saying. agreeing, yeah. but but, but I, I don't feel like Joe Biden should have announced it. Insensitivity to the majority of Christians. I think if uh, vo- I think in terms of a political move, he lost so how many. How much votes. how much do you want as a Christian? The whole calendar is yours. Hey, there is as Louis C.K. said, you guys won. How much more do you want? How sensitive are you? You guys, we are one. You guys are so winners. We want, we want even more. more. I tell you, we want even more. 
Meu Very amigo Christian. Amigo, 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 yeah. And then there's a part where this guy, Agent Smith Dungas, this guy, and then he, he says, More! You guys, we want more! <laughs> you guys want the whole year to be Christian, you guys. It is! Which, you know, me, I'm joining the Crusaders, eh? Good, it's man. Where are you going? In like Israel? No, no, no. Israel is not doing well right now, politically. But isn't it good for Christians? I'm going to Nax. Or? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's going to the OG Crusaders <laughs> yeah, and the Holy Land. No, but that was quite a conversation uh, in on Twitter this weekend. That trans day stuff. Oh. You you saw it on Twitter. Well, I didn't see, but me, me, I'm pro trans and pro people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about you guys? This guy is really uh, quiet. Well, what's your stance? My stance on it's on this saga. Not equality. Mm-hmm. Like this story of trans day of visibility. I think trans people are people. No, I'm no, not. What kind of politician is this guy? <laughs> Who me? Yeah. No, there are people. I didn't say that. You said they are just transhumans. <laughs> I just said uh, yeah. Sunday was our day for. So what is the really? I don't get the. Re- if the they're people, why can't they have their day? Their day. <laughs> so they can have it on maybe. No, day when you, you can have. Rising from the dead. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe if Easter had a day. fixed date, then maybe yeah. this argument would you, have you made know, sense. Yeah, you know, the next no, Easter day, changes its days. Now you you're complaining. The next day after after Easter Sunday was what? April Fools. Like, would you want them to take that day? So maybe uh, Joe Biden was doing an April Fool. No, no, no. Didn't he announce on Sunday, bro? What is? But anyway, it was a debate online. Yeah, it was a lost plot, but yeah. Yeah. but what is your view on it as a guy who uh, a guy of numbers? <laughs> like, how many times do I tell him? That's a separate religion. But you know what? Even now on, I'm going to be calling you. What, what, fuck, I don't even know your gods, bro. <laughs> pray to the mountain. In Kai. You pray to the mountain or what? I don't know. What do you do? Mount, Mount Kenya. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You are Gashagwa. Tagoli is on top of Mount Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> you land at the Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by the way, the taller one is right there. But Let me go to Kil- Ah, Mount Kenya is the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that thing makes for debates. Uh, I just thought I would bring it up. No, not you really. Many podcasts, yeah. so guys should chill. I think uh, you forced a debate yeah. there because in no, the there end, is a debate. in the end, you came back no, and just is, agreed with what everybody no, said. But there is a debate. <laughs> Check in online. There's a debate. <laughs> there is. Check in <laughs> on. Not here, at least. Honestly, Check this guy yawning. Yeah. Honest. No, you guys, you're the like guest. Katayang, There's a debate. Of course, there are hardcore Christians who are like, like. Yeah. It seems like you're almost being aggressive, like you're chokozaying, like you're intentionally doing that because it's on that it's day. Like me playing yeah. the Mombe seasons. That, that's what I'm, Play, like, he's talking about. Play, play with the low like, hanging oh, balls. Or when is uh, the ceremony of lights, oh, the are. celebration of Diwali? Uh, Diwali. Yeah. It's, that takes uh, like seven days. It's the day before Diwali, Diwali. there's like a seven day thingy for the Hindus and then Diwali on the eighth day or something, ninth or something like that. So if they did that exact calendar, not you specifically, but do you think there are other uh, Punjabis who would be like mad about it? Not really, because Punjabis also celebrate Diwali. So it's not a, it's a shared uh, holiday. Okay, what about so any, I think any, mostly like, like Muslims would have, I don't yeah. know, but you see, I think there's no because even Diwali is very similar to Easter, it's not really it's a fixed date every year. It there is some uh, something with the moon or something that's when Diwali you know happens, it's not a fixed date. And I, I don't know what other holiday would coincide that would make a uh, we bro kala singers and hindus are like pretty tight like in india it's a very tight can punjabi marry a hindu it's more common it's it's not even up an issue sometimes but what's up with the in india the, it's muslims and the others have now, you seen in india issue. like uh, th- there's been many attacks against muslims right have you seen that stuff either that or that now news about that is just coming out a lot more. it could you do this you never know there's this some school some which had immigrants and then uh, some of them was muslim so it was during um, ramadan so they came and attacked them did you see that clip on al jazeera no, I, I mean i feel like right now there's a lot of anti-muslim stuff because i think it's election year also that's well, coming up and uh, yeah they need to do that shit in india and in india it's uh, see here it's tribe right kikuyu versus the others and versus lose i guess i don't know i think versus trans that's what he did in, uh-huh. in india it's just religion 
it's okay. nothing uh, like that, yeah there was there's like a huge debate in india about where a temple was supposed to be made and so this is where one of the hindu gods apparently grew up hanuman not Han- hanuman's uh, boss Cousin. guru his teacher oh, hanuman as a guy hanuman guy is, so hanuman is the student his teacher is called ram she's yeah. the reason when he came back home after being uh, thrown out of his house when he came back after 14 years that's when we celebrate diwali or hindu celebrate diwali so him where he was born that place uh, is a hindu place but then india has been the most uh, attacked or invaded country in the planet so it was invaded by the muslims and they destroyed that place and built a mosque because that's what they used to do in those days mm. and then uh, the british came they realize oh this is a very touchy subject because even the hindus have this call on it and even the muslims have this call on it blah 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 long blah 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 you know fight here fight there move an inch here move an inch there people are angry at any possibility and now this government just destroyed the whole mosque and just made like a huge grand temple and it's like a, it's actually pretty beautiful if you go see it all right so, yeah so i'm just saying in india it's more religion than yes. uh, caste and that stuff okay okay no but uh, the point i want to make is we are different religions and mindsets here but it's all love either yeah. not really me i hate fucking bashir <laughs> this muzi of <laughs> yeah. but no, me no, love no. you guys also love bashir i think i think among comedians also love you in the term as you okay but i don't love george <laughs> Among comedians I don't think we have that that's the reason we don't like each other you know what I mean it's we probably like he's a hack he steals jokes yeah. it's more occupation based rather than this other the material oh, like like he's not rich that's not a reason you know like some people actually don't talk to other people because they they're not of the same standard right oh. yeah. like this guy this guy doesn't even, even have a car one. yeah comedians is just work jokes, ethic right? jokes yeah, yeah. and how you do it. and people have different styles because of their different personalities yeah some people you know they open their eyes and komonga some people close their eyes and komonga so you know you're right emmanuel just yeah, yeah. yeah. you got do you think george's but uh, moves while he's komonga bush shake bro yeah that's sure shake behind camera but i think it does you guys this guy has been gaining weight lately not even even before that i felt it <laughs> i've been thinking of- <laughs> manu when you say that it's only cuz i didn't want to interrupt the flow of course missionary when you're on missionary you feel it and then you have to think about uh, your yeah, cd box or ba- backward <laughs> <laughs> you, you're like lorry y r r o l that's how you do it cup p u c do try it eh uh, yeah you get with those wise words you get yeah you gotta go you exponential and then you you uh-huh. won't you'll hold it so cheers man i'm on deep jack there popping it up with a man we're back baby <laughs> every week you right that's settled difference that's that's a huh? nice dab so this is that was perfect that was uh, every, it that was a sweet the entire the entire the world so my yeah man so we back do that thanks for coming through yeah come a cow come a dow bashira jo get the last 55 minutes but you know it's bro cooler cooler cola. <laughs> isha fika masa bado damn it's uh, around 6:15 let's uh, wind this thing up so cheers guys see you on the next one bye